are parked in the driveway in Key Largo uh, at our friend's place, Rob and Lynn's. Um, Dave went out this morning deep sea fishing with Rob and the neighbor Scott and did not bring anything back, right? No, uh, we caught, uh, Scott caught a sailfish, pretty good sailfish, and I caught a small Spanish mackerel. We let both those go. Uh, we're hoping for some wahoo or mahi or something good to eat, but that since, didn't happen. Since they came home <clears throat> empty handed, we are all now gonna go out and check their stone crab pots. So I guess these pots soak for a bit, not like it's a lot different from West Coast crabbing. So we have a lot to learn about this fishery. And then after we check those pots, we may we jump may in the water and- Look for some lobsters. You will jump in the water and look for lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> This. Uh, yeah. Way you don't bust his uh and this will regrow and this we throw it we throw it in the water Okay, this is our haul for the day. No lobsters. Wow. This is Rob. He's been our gracious host here. Um, so yeah, we ended up with a few and a few our neighbors contributed too, so. And we have a few more in the freezer. Okay. So we're gonna have plenty. The key to these things is they never touch ice or refrigeration until I cook them. Oh, okay. So we left them in salt water mm -hmm. this afternoon, a couple of three hours. And then I'm gonna steam them for about Oh, 12 15 minutes and then we ice them down and you've Perfect. never had something and like then that. you crack them and dip them in butter or we no? use mustard sauce Ooh, is it Publix mustard sauce uh, I think this one is no this is Key Largo Fisheries okay well you know what I'm this all about same. mustard sauce that's all I'm telling you yeah. so I'm excited about that <laughs> so these are gonna go down yep. 10 15 minutes yeah Okay, right, the crabs are coming out. The crabs are coming They're out. fully steamed. Yep. Okay. And I'm here with Scott. He's going to demonstrate cracking these. So what size would that be? Yeah. This is a jumbo. I would jumbo. Say. Jumbo. Yeah, not colossal. Okay. So the first one I do is right here in the center. The first knuckle. Okay. The next one is right in the middle because this will this this will bog down. So I want to crack between the two knuckles. Okay. And then I want to crack here at the other end of the knuckles. So now that whole section is is good, and I want to turn it over and crack right there. Nice. This whole thing will fall apart on your plate. Just beautifully. No, no problem. Okay. Now. Look at that hole right there. Babe, tr you gotta try. We had a plan B. Okay. Which side was fresh? This was the fresh this side fresh. and this is the frozen side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do yeah, that. so definitely try both sides there and see have. if you care. That's a nice one. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Here's a, here's a, here's a big one. That is so here's a little stupid one. good. That crab was so good. It's very similar to Dungeness, actually. 
Very similar. I love how it's a renewable fishery though. And some of those claws that we got were actually regenerated claws. Yeah, very so that's cool. pretty cool. Yep. While we've been in the Keys, uh, the camper has performed perfectly. Now we are plugged into... Just a regular um, 110 outlet. Yeah. No 30 amp or anything. We're just plugged in because it's been, I mean, it's 85 degrees and humid. Um, it's not enough to run our air conditioner, but we haven't needed to. Right. Which has been crazy. So we have the windows cracked. <clears throat> and plugged in we can run the fan because this battery in this thing that we're going to be changing into lithium hopefully next month you couldn't run the fan all day no so <clears throat> running the fan all day with the all these windows cracked it's been comfortable in here yeah and even last night we didn't even have the fan on i think just with all the windows we're able to open it up and just air it out and it cools down instantly so yeah. that it's been a big difference compared to the van where the metal yeah it, yeah yeah it was a big difference we even bought some reflectix thinking we might have to put it in some of the windows because we did that in the van and we, we haven't yet with the tinted double pane instead of windows with the privacy blind shut most of the way yeah it's been pretty impressive I, i'm curious to take <clears throat> it into some cold I'm not. I want a snow adventure in this. <laughs> I'm not that This good. is capable for a snow adventure. I want to do it. I want to try it. Uh, we're in the Keys for another few days visiting. And, you know, we haven't been filming a lot because we've been hanging out with friends and doing that. So, um, might have some fishing up ahead. I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing. Some but... rain coming and some winds. So... Well, you probably hear the rain. This is probably only the second time we've had rain since we've been in the camper. Yep. And this has been a pretty significant... So far, she's watertight. <laughs> but when the rain stops here a little bit, we might uh, I might go put the new my canoe together. Yes. And or I might launch one of the boats here. <clears throat> and it's too windy and rough to go offshore today. But in the canal that we're on, um, there's some big snapper in there. So maybe Dave has his eye on those. I'm gonna try to catch some snapper today. So. Yep, so that's the plan. Um, now, <clears throat> very soon we have a meeting with uh, an appointment with uh, George from Unplugged. George from Unplugged in Sanford, Florida. And he's <clears throat> going to take a look at the space we have, our current battery system, inverter, all that, and see what we need to do to upgrade and get this thing. How much room um, we have for how much battery and and how much solar thing. we could put on the roof just the whole thing so um very soon we'll be reporting back to you on that on what we've decided to do and what yeah what our space will allow so i'm curious to find that out all right we'll see you down the road carry on carry on thanks for watching join us on patreon for extra content and all our videos early release and ad free and check out the children's book that irene wrote you can get it on Amazon, or if you want an autographed copy, go to our website at carryonvagabond.com. All proceeds go directly to the Green Bean Fund. Thanks again, Ed. Carry on. Carry on.